In this video, I'll be explaining to you why you feel worse after doing the things that you thought would make you feel better. And I'm calling this the pain paradox. Today is 24th June 2022. I've officially made 1 lakh rupees. All right, Shrey, what's your question, my friend? pain of avoiding pain is worse than the pain itself. So what does that mean? You feel like crap. You feel like eating a donut. It will make you feel good, right? The donut will make you feel good. You eat the donut. Now you feel worse. You're like, what the hell happened? Like, what, what's going on? Like, I did the things that my brain wanted me to do. And now I feel worse. Again, the pain of avoiding pain is worse than the pain itself. So the original pain, I don't know why I was hurt. Maybe I'm getting less views on YouTube. Okay, so I'm disappointed. So I'll, I'll, I'll eat food that makes me feel good or watch some movie that'll make me feel good. Okay, so after doing that, I feel worse. Okay, so that's what I'm calling the pain paradox. Okay, so why does this happen? And there are two reasons of why this happens. There are uh, chemical factors and there are psychological factors. So firstly, chemical factors is that you need to understand how the dopamine in your brain works and what the baseline is and how dopamine moves up and down throughout the day and based on decisions that you make throughout the day. So we all know what dopamine is. I'm not going to explain to you what it is in a complex way. I'll explain to you what you need to know. So dopamine, pleasure chemical, okay, it makes you feel good, okay, whatever. So let's say we all have a baseline, right? So let's say there's a baseline going like this. In my brain, there's a baseline. So this baseline is how happy I am. So the lower the baseline, the more depressed I am. The higher the baseline, the more happier I am, okay? So let's say I have a baseline like this and I start off at the baseline, okay? And your dopamine is at a particular level. All you need to know about dopamine is that it's always cyclical. What does that mean? So if you do something that makes you feel good, you immediately feel a dip. You'll feel a dip that goes down below your baseline. Okay, so let's say there's a standard emo like standard like happiness for you. You go up and you come down and you go below the baseline. Okay. So the craving of the donut came from when my dopamine went below baseline. So I thought, okay, I feel like crap, maybe I should eat a donut. Donut boom up and then it goes below what it was originally. So my baseline keeps going down, 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 down. That's the thing that our brain doesn't understand. It's that the things that we think make us feel good make us feel worse like almost immediately and the opposite is true as well if you didn't know if you purposefully like you go below your baseline let's say i have to do i have to plan out a youtube video it's pretty it's the, i hate the topic but it's really important i have to do it baseline camera i'll go below it for some time while doing the task while doing the task while doing the task and then boom i'll go up and then i'll come down and i'll stay above the baseline with my happiness I'll stay above the baseline and another video on my channel that is titled pleasure is pain and pain is pleasure i understand exactly what you can do for this and how you can take advantage of this situation and i explain it in a more in a bit more detail as well coming back to the pain paradox okay the paradox is that what we think is going to bring us pleasure is actually bringing us pain and what is actually pleasurable for us in the in the even the near short term is painful in the short term and the next factor of why this happens is psychological. When we have a particular problem in our life and we're feeling bad about it, our response is to feel good, okay? Okay, and, and it does make you feel good for a while. But the reason it makes you feel like crap afterwards is that you didn't fix the underlying problem. If you got bad marks in your exam and you cope by eating junk food, you feel good, true but you didn't fix the underlying problem, which was you got the bad marks. So what can you do about all of this? The worst thing you can do is to distract yourself. Distract yourself with video games, Instagram, uh, YouTube, like your phone, like alcohol, any kind, of, any kind of distraction, you cannot distract yourself. Why? Because you avoid the underlying problem and it's always gonna creep back up. In the situation where you are in pain, just ask yourself two questions. Now write this down somewhere in your Apple notes or whatever. Why do I feel like this? Why am I feeling like this? What is making me feel like this? Did I get rejected? Is my life in danger? Did I get bad marks in school? Did I fail my semester? And once you identify what is actually bothering you, the root cause of your pain, 
then you ask how can i kill it how can i solve this particular problem if i got rejected at a job okay how do i solve it? okay i got rejected how do i solve it but how do i kill this pain I, like i got rejected i hate it the way i can kill it is by getting another job so that i don't care about this rejection in the first place that's one solution so i apply for more jobs more jobs more jobs i realize that the more jobs that i apply to the higher probability of me getting job interviews and the higher probability of me getting a job that will fix my problem so instead of just distracting yourself instead of indulging in more pleasure while you're in pain dive deeper realize why you're feeling that way okay and never ever avoid the pain altogether okay face it head on that's all i had to say about the pain paradox i go deeper into this topic on another video which is called pain is pleasure and pleasure is pain so if you want to know more go watch it you'll really enjoy it. that's all take care